Howdy cowboys, it seems a dark place for me looking for my lost tail in here in the woods. Well I guess I could spend my emotion on dynamic random access memory design and operation to you. Introducing gangs of cowboys are... Moving on, frankly speaking DRAM is a type of random access memory that stores data bit in separate capacitor within an integrated circuit. Since capacitor leaks charge, the information fades away unless the capacitor being recharged again or refreshed periodically. Here are the original design patterns of layout DRAM in 1968 time. DRAM has gone through development process of a scene, a simple type of cell circuit allowing large memory arrays to be constructed on a chip at a lower cost per bit. Thus, much greater density resulting greater bit capacities for a given chip area. Modern DRAM memory cell form of a single MOS transistor and a single capacitor. Transistor operates as a switch as capacitor bias at VCC over 2 to store logic 1 or negative VCC over 2 to store logic 0. Thus, Q equivalent VCC times C over 2 for given charge store. Such design as conductive line or digit line is made of metal or polycide polysilicon considered highly capacitive for 50 N meter process of 120 F farad. Low on the RW line Write mode enables the tri-state input buffer and disables the output buffer. For one to be written into the cell, the D in line must be HA and the transistor must be turned on by a HA on the row line. Transistors act as a closed switch connecting capacitor to the bit line thus allowing to be charged with positive voltage. When zero is to be stored, low is applied to the D in line. If the capacitor is storing zero, it remains uncharged, and if it's storing one, it will discharge. When the row line taken back low, transistor turns off and disconnects the capacitor from the bit line, trapping one or zero in capacitor. RW line is high enabling the output buffer and disabling the input buffer while the row line high, the transistor turns on connecting capacitor to the bit line. Sense amplifier above the data bit on the data output D out line. When refreshing memory cell, RW line is high, so does the row line and the refresh line. Transistor turns on connecting capacitor to the bit line as output buffer is enabled and storing data bit applied to the input of refresh buffer. This enabled by the high on the refresh input producing voltage on bit line corresponding to stored bit that's replenishing capacitor. 